Okay, so now that we have our folder set up for Search Atlas and we've configured our AI with all the parameters that we want, we're going to create our first article. We're going to use the Write Yourself workflow where I'm going to simply paste an article title, so the Beginner's Guide to Technical SEO, and I'm going to define a few keywords that this article should rank for. So technical SEO, what is technical SEO, and technical SEO best practices. In general, we recommend selecting between three to five keywords per article uh, to ensure that there are enough entities for the AI to create content. Since we're writing this ourselves, when we click create article, the tool will open up a new writing assistant page for us. And we simply need to wait for Search Atlas to process the current search results for the top three keywords. Now, while this is processing, you'll notice here the tool also suggests additional keywords that we can rank for. So if we don't like our original selections or if we want to add additional keywords to optimize our page for, we can use some of the suggestions here or we can click all suggested keywords and get a report of the search intent, the search volume, and find additional related keywords from here that we can select as our primary. Right. So once the keywords have been selected and processed, what we can do is two things. One is we can actually start by looking at the headings outline of our top ranking of the top ranking sites. So in this example, SEMrush is ranking number one, Yoast is ranking number two, and BigCommerce is ranking number three. We can essentially take headings that we like from our competitors and add them to our own outline, or we can bulk select these headings and add them to our own outline. So for the sake of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and select all of the headings that SEMrush is using for their content. And I'm going to use that as the basis for the content that we're going to create. Cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these headings. And I'm going to move them over to our content. Um, what you can also do, like I said, you can toggle between all of the headings the heading structures of all of the sites, and you can cherry pick the headings that you want from each site. So here we now have our target keywords, our focus terms processed, and a solid heading structure for what this article can look like. Now we're going to select Write with AI. You can also use this workflow to create the headings yourselves. So if you hit headings here, you can manually type in the headings you can actually also click AI create, in which case the AI will actually scan the headings of the top ranking sites, and it will suggest headings for us based off of common headings in the top ranking sites, right? So there are kind of three ways to do this. The first way is to manually type in your own headings. The second way is to use the headings outline tool, review the heading structure of the competitors, and select the headings for your own outline. And the third way would simply be to hit AI create outline, in which case Search Atlas will build a heading structure for you based off of the common headers within the top ranking sites. And we see this right here. These are going to be the new headers that we've created. Now, if I don't like these headings, like I said, if I already have the existing items, I can simply hit import from article, in which case the tool will import the headings that I manually typed in and structure them for us as H1s, H2s, H3s, and so on. This module here, Terms to Include, so if you click Import from Article, either here or up here, the tool is automatically going to import all of the entities that we need to create, that we need to include within our content. What we typically recommend doing is reviewing this list of entities and potentially removing any irrelevant phrases or competitor keywords. Uh, so you can scrub this list if needed. You can also add additional keywords or entities simply by typing them in or copying and pasting them into this tool. 
Uh, if we scroll down, we can either have the AI generate FAQs for us, we can write our own FAQs, or we can use the suggestions that Search Atlas pulls from autocomplete search, search suggestions and people also ask questions. Since this is a folder that we've already created, we have our target links already included. We have our image item set and we have our AI parameters already pre-configured. And I'm going to select this button here to replace the current article with the AI generated content. So now when I hit create article, the tool is going to start with the primary heading and it's going to start creating the content and it's going to be referencing the entities that we've included as well as the insights that we've provided about Search Atlas and the brand. So this typically takes between two to three minutes to create an article. Uh, so you can essentially let this load and, and kind of populate in the background, uh, or you can just wait until it completes and then review the content from there. So we're just going to pause the video here for a moment, let the tool finish creating the article, and then we'll resume this in a moment. All right, so it's been about two minutes and Search Atlas has finish creating the article. So we're now going to click back here and we're going to be able to review the article. We have a custom hero image that was created, well-structured headings, a key takeaway summary, one image per H2, very robust in terms of the entities, the length of each section, the bullet points, as well as some of the tables that have been added. And all of this content has been 100% AI generated. Uh, we also have some internal links that we've told the tool to add into the content. And we have our FAQs as well as the conclusion. And what's fantastic about this is the content score as a output has come up to an 81. We've used 84 entities within the content. And this piece of uh, content is now ready to publish on Search Atlas. So what I would do here is I would click our WordPress synchronization button. And I'm going to post this article to our staging website just so we can see what that looks like. And I'm going to have it listed as published. It's going to be a blog post. I'm going to create a permalink. And I'm going to title that beginner's guide to technical SEO. And I'm going to tag this as SEO, technical SEO, and SEO tools. These category tags are the tags that already exist in the WordPress instance of Search Atlas. Uh, the site is viewable here because we've downloaded the plugin for WordPress to Search Atlas. And I'm hitting this as a publish, but I can also have this in draft mode if I like. But I want this to be published. I'm going to go ahead and hit publish blog post. This typically takes a couple of seconds. And now the article has been completed. Uh, we have the sync and the link to the article. So now if I click this here, we're going to be able to see that the article we just created using our AI has been immediately published to Search Atlas. The formatting has been uh, kept clean. The images have been included. The bullets have been added. The internal links have been created. All of the tables are included and the formatting is super clean. So this is essentially how we go from an article topic, identifying keywords, generating an outline, creating the content via AI, and then ultimately posting it to WordPress using the MetaSync plugin. Thank you.